Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Filomena Luz. Thank you for being here. Hello. Good evening. For the ones who are here, Ivania. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening. Guillermo. Hello, Peter. Hello, good evening. I am okay. Thank you. Carlos Miguel, welcome. David, Emanuel, welcome. Guillermo, Guillermo, welcome. People, I was checking the platform right before the class. Congratulations to some of you who did the 100% of the homeworks for section two and also the midterm exam. To some of you, uh, it is still missing, okay? Para algunos todavía les hace falta un poquito, pero tienen tiempo después de la clase, okay? Para finalizar. So, today is Friday. And how was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy? Last day at the company. El último día de trabajo, ¿cómo estuvo hoy? ¿O quiénes van mañana todavía a trabajar? Hi, teacher. Uh, ah, okay. Ivania and David. Guillermo, you don't work on the weekend. No trabaja en fin de semana. Yes, yes. Only Saturday morning. Yes? Solo yes. Saturday por la mañana. Eh, sábado y domingo me toca. Saturday in the morning and in the afternoon. And Sunday in the morning and in the afternoon. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Ah, because your days off are on the week. Yes. Sus días libres son en la semana. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Great. Ana Veronica Hernandez. Welcome. Hello, Ana Veronica. Good evening. How are you, Ana Veronica? And Marlene, Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. It is exactly the time to get started, okay? So we're going to begin right now because I'm going to share my PPT with you as every single day. Remember the camera, okay? It is a prerequisite and Danny is joining right now, okay? Daniel Alberto. Hello, Danny, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. You are welcome. Everyone is welcome. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you and we are going to continue. Okay. I'm going to share my PPT with you guys. Okay. And today is September the 2nd, right? Friday, September the 2nd, 2022. And here I have the agenda for the video conference. Uh, number one, greetings as every day. Saludos. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for uh, greeting. Uh, we're going to have the feedback, the review that we have every day. Someone is going to help me reading the objectives. And we are going to continue talking about my daily routines at work and my classmates' daily routine using the simple present tense. We're going to be talking about, again, you're going to be elaborating that, your daily routines and others' daily routine. Otros compañeros en este caso, daily routines at work using the simple present tense. And we're going to continue working at pages 27 and 28. If you remember yesterday, we were working with page 27, right? But we didn't finish because of the time. We're going to go deeper into that today. Ahora vamos a eh, estudiar un poquito más a profundidad las respuestas at page 27, porque ayer no tuvimos mucho tiempo, okay? But that's okay, no problem. So here we have the objectives for today. Who is going to help me reading the objectives today? One volunteer, please, only one volunteer. Who's going to help me? Okay, uh, we, I have Carlos Miguel and David, okay. Carlos, you are going to read the specific objective. Carlos nos ayudará a leer el, el objetivo específico y David nos ayudará a leer el objetivo de la clase. Begin, please. Okay, a specific objective. Uh, participants will be able to talk about different activities using simple presence. Thank you very much. David Emanuel, David class, Emanuel. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants 
will be able to identify simply present. Thank you so much. Great. Congratulations. Okay, so now here the reminder about homeworks and evaluations as every day I have been telling you, right? It is mandatory to have the 80% in homeworks and evaluations to pass the course para poder tener también el, el, el derecho al diploma, ¿verdad? Para pasar satisfactoriamente el curso y en la semana 4 tenemos un examen final. En esta semana, como les decía, había un, un, un midterm test, solo son cuatro preguntas y la otra semana solamente son las actividades diarias, ¿verdad? No hay eh, examen hasta la semana de final, la cuarta semana. Y es Carlos, Carlos Miguel, tell me. Eh, sí, una, una, una consulta nada más. Eh, aquí okay. mencionaba, eh, estaba leyendo en la plataforma. Sí. Eh, no sé cómo mencionaba ahí lo, lo, del, lo, del, lo del diploma, pero aquí me mencionaba algo, no, no sé si tiene ¿Qué, qué, que ver qué? en la plataforma. Dice. No sé qué es lo que dice. Digan. Que en, en, que en la plataforma dice algo sobre esa situación y que, que, eh, que está, estoy en modo no sé qué dice y que no tengo en modo, en modo estudiante no, en modo, en otro modo no en el Ajá, estudiante ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿por qué? porque hasta que complete usted entonces eh, eh, se le va a reconocer, sí ah. Ajá, hasta que complete todas las tareas y todo, todos lo, los exámenes que aparecen ahí de acuerdo uh -huh. Porque entonces eh, aparece ya como estudiante activo, porque sí está haciendo las, las, las ya, ya, tareas. Ya. Y, ajá, sí, no se preocupe oh. por eso. Don't be concerned. <risa> okay, don't okay. worry, be happy. But thank you for asking because maybe somebody else had that doubt. Gracias por, por el comentario y preguntar por qué tal vez alguien más tenía esa duda, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Así es que no, no, no se preocupe, todo bien, sigan trabajando y ahí van a tener su diploma, ¿ok? Eh, eh, nada más que es el, el, la administración les va a hacer saber cuándo están, van a estar listos los, los diplomas, ¿verdad? Porque es un proceso y recuerden que son tantos grupos y es un programa a nivel nacional, ¿verdad? Que se tienen, entonces tiene que llevar la firma de ISAFORP y todo lo demás y tiene que verificarse las asistencias, tiene que verificar sus tareas y, y, y evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Es hacer un total contraste. Y con las asistencias, pues son los minutos, ¿verdad? Así es que eh, yo lo felicito porque hubo uno de esos días de la semana que tuvimos una asistencia excelente, overwhelming, ¿verdad? Sorprendente, porque que todos tuvieron las dos horas completas, no hubo problema de lluvia ni de conexión, ayer también estuvo bastante regular la asistencia bastante buena, así es que sigamos así, siempre y cuando no tengamos problemas de lluvia o problemas de electricidad o de conexión ok, so here uh, eh, profesora, yes. ya, ya solo para finalizar el comentario, Diga. ya la encontré está en el progreso, dice su suscripción uh -huh. Ruta de asistente, me dice. Usted está inscrito en el curso como asistente, de este modo de tomar el curso no incluye la obtención de un certificado. Así es, porque hasta qué, ¿verdad? Hasta que se verifiquen todos esos procesos que les acabo de explicar. Es decir, no es solo porque ya hice las tareas y porque acá está, ¿verdad? Entonces, sé dice acá. La, la, okay. es necesario tener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente, eso con respecto a las tareas y evaluaciones, pero también va amarrado, ligado con la asistencia, ¿sí? Entonces, como le digo, se, se hace al final un contraste, ¿verdad? Entonces, asistente pero, aprobó o no entonces ya es al final. pero ya esa es situación administrativa pero como todos van bien y van a pasar no problem, ¿ok? Mm. Hello. Going to mute you, Serafina. ¿Por qué no hace? Ok, sí, ahí. Le, le, lo silencié. Ah, sí, Hola. Buenas, buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening. Voy, You're driving. Rato, voy, camin, voy eh, driving. Ajá. Esa, oh. Está lloviendo demasiado. Y oh, really? Está, en 10 minutos llego a mi casa y me... Y ok, me, ok. Me voy okay. escuchando. Ok, thank you. Excellent. Thank ah, you. entonces la lluvia es la que está haciendo este, este. Sí. Ok, I'm going sí. to mute you then. Okay. Thank you, Seraphine. And here we go. A feedback. We have been working during the week with the simple present tense. 
we have uh, been practicing about daily routines at home before you go to work and your daily routine at work. Yeah. And also the yes, no questions that we have been building, right? And also here, I have been sharing with you this question. What is your daily routine at work? And some examples that I have been sharing with you. Um, we have number one, for instance, Mario checks social networks. Mario takes calls. Ruth does the food shopping. Acá el verbo das, fíjense bien, está como verbo principal, no como auxiliar. En la, el número tres, no hay otro verbo. Por lo tanto, das es el verbo do, hace. Hace la, las compras para la comida, ¿sí? Entonces, es do el verbo, pero le agregamos es porque el verbo termina en o y El sujeto de la oración es plus. Es como que dijéramos she, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, estos son los cambios. Fíjense las oraciones en presente simple. Checks, takes, does. Rosa checks emails. Acá le agregamos una S también, porque todos hasta este momento son singular tercera persona. Rosa prepares reports. Prepare es el verbo, pero le agregamos la S, ¿por qué? Porque el sujeto es Rosa. She, she prepares reports in present simple. Does Mario check social networks? Yes, he does. Respuesta corta. Y si fuera respuesta completa, yes, he does. He or Mario checks social networks. Do Ruth and Rosa check emails? No, they don't. ¿Por qué decimos they don't? Pero mire, ahí tiene Rosa y tiene Ruth. Correcto. Son dos personas, por lo tanto, es plural, es como que usted dijera they. Y aparte de eso, mire, el modal auxiliary es do. Entonces, you need to pay attention to the auxiliary that is used in the question. Con el auxiliar que se utiliza en la pregunta, vamos a contestar la respuesta corta, ¿sí? Ok, questions or comments so far? Preguntas o comentarios hasta el momento? And then, yes, no questions. Do you like ice cream? Do you like to play soccer? You know these questions by heart because I have been sharing with you. Okay. Do you dance ballet? Do you watch soap operas? Does uh, Luz like to listen to romantic music? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does um, Francisco like to go to the beach? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Danny cook for the family? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Do Jonathan and Serafin play video games? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Do Veronica and Milagro check the social networks at night? Yes, they do, or no, they don't, okay? And here we have, what do you do at work? Some of the most common activities. I check the email. I take calls. I attend meetings. I call clients. I make calls. I read reports. I arrange meetings. I attend meetings. I write reports. I check reports. I turn on the computer. Those are the most common, okay? Questions about this? Preguntas sobre estas actividades? Ahora veamos cómo vamos a construir okay, una, una pregunta para preguntar sobre la actividad que hace alguien más. Entonces les comparto acá, vean. If I say for example. Okay. Presta atención porque luego vamos a estar practicando esto en los breakout rooms. Okay. If we say. This is just an example. Does Guillermo, um, does Guillermo print papers? The short answer affirmative is Guillermo imprime documentos. The short yes. answer? Yes. 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 Yes, yes I do. 
No, yeah. porque no le estoy preguntando a, directamente a usted. Le estoy preguntando yes, a los demás o a alguien más correcto. Entonces, acá estamos preguntando, fíjense bien, sobre la rutina de alguien más. En este caso, ese alguien más es Guillermo, ¿sí? Entonces, y es he does. Y si fuera negativa, the answer should be no. No, he doesn't. Excellent. No, he doesn't. Si fuera, si yo le dijera, this is just no, just no question and short answers, lo que hemos estado trabajando durante la semana. Pero si yo les digo, mm, deme una respuesta afirmativa completa, ¿cuál sería? If I ask you, class, does Guillermo print papers? Yes. Yes, he prints con la S. He prints papers. ¿Por qué papers. lleva la S? Porque no llevamos el verbo auxiliar. Fíjense. Y es tercera persona. What if, it's, if it is negative? ¿Qué pasa si es negativa? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? No. No. Y. He, he, he prints. No, porque no. ahí necesitamos por ley el auxiliar. ¿Cuál ah, sería el auxiliar? Doesn't print. Excellent. Doesn't. Very doesn't well. Doesn't print papers. No, he doesn't print papers. Noten que en la negativa sí estamos utilizando el auxiliar negativo, ¿verdad? Doesn't. Por lo tanto, el verbo ya no sufre cambio. Porque el que ha sufrido el cambio es el verbo auxiliar, porque el, el verbo original auxiliar es do. Y para tercera persona es doesn't. No, he doesn't print papers. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá en el negativo, miren, el verbo no lleva S, solamente en la oración afirmativa. Pero en la oración afirmativa, para tercera persona del singular y cualquier otra persona, no utilizamos ningún verbo auxiliar. En tercera persona le agregamos S, ¿sí? ¿Te fijan? Yes, comments or questions? What if I say? Ese es un ejemplo para tercera persona de singular, pero si yo le digo, do, mm, do Karina and mm, Serafín, do Karina and Serafín Uh, check emails. The short answer is. ¿Cuál es la respuesta afirmativa? Corta. Yes, they doesn't. No, yes, they, yes, they do. Yes, they do. do. Very well. And in negative short answer. Uh, no, they doesn't. doesn't. No, ¿Y por qué me dicen das? Si les estoy preguntando con tú. Um, uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de dos personas, de Karina y Serafín. No, they. No, don't. they don't. Very well. Don't. No, they don't. Muy bien. No, they don't. Ahora, respuesta afirmativa larga. ¿Do Karina y Serafín check emails? Yes. They, yes, yes, they, they Karina, no, no, porque ah. ya sustituimos los nombres yes, de los compañeros por they. Emails. Excellent. Yes, they check emails. Ya. Yeah. Acá no le agregamos la S, ¿por qué? Porque es plural, ¿sí? Cuando es plural no se le agrega la S. Y además... Eh, recuerden que los cambios de verbales en presente simple solo son para he, she, it, ¿de acuerdo? Y ahora la respuesta completa negativa para esta pregunta. ¿Do Karina and Serafín check emails? No, no, they don't check emails. No, they don't check emails. And now, direct question. Ahora una pregunta directa. Do you, do you print papers? Guillermo, do you print papers? Guillermo, do you print papers? Eh, yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. En este caso, Guillermo y compañeros, sí escribimos, contestamos con I, ¿verdad? Porque es una pregunta directa que le dice a él. Entonces, si usted le pregunta, Guillermo, a Carlos, Carlos, do you print papers? He has to answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Porque está hablando por su persona, ¿sí? Then I, yes, I do. Or negative, no, I don't, yes. And the full answer in affirmative, yes, I. ¿Cuál es la siguiente palabra? Yes, I. Print. I print. print. Acá no le agregamos ese por qué, porque I es primera persona, no es tercera persona. Yes, I print. Papers. Papers, yeah. And no, negativo. No, I don't. Papers. ¿Y el verbo cuál es? Excellent. Very well. No, I don't print papers. Paper. Excellent. No, I don't print papers. Very well. Okay. Questions or comments about this? No question. Okay, is it clear? A little bit more clear, okay? Yes. <clears throat> okay, yesterday in the, in the homework number nine, I think there are some pictures about routines, routines at, at home, for example, to take a shower or something like that. But remember that you need to follow the order of the pictures, one, two, three, four, and the questions, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? Así van con el número para que no se vayan a confundir. ¿Okay? Y ahí pues se les pregunta esto. ¿Okay? Esta es estructura, no exactamente esta, ¿verdad? Pero sí las estructuras, ¿ok? So you tell me when we can move to the next activity. Me avisan cuando nos podamos eh, movilizar a la siguiente actividad. Ready, teacher. Ah, ok. No estaba acá viendo el mensaje que su compañera envió. Milagro madre, bien que no, no nos va a poder acompañar. Ok. So, ready? Yes? Ready. Shall we? Ok, excellent. I'm going to stop sharing this, ok? Because I'm going to take the first attendance. And, ok, here we go. Let's see. Okay, Serafin, thank you. Great, excellent. I'm going to uh, say your names, okay? And you know what to do. Here we go. Ana Marlene. Here I am. Great, thank you. Ana Verónica. Vero, Verónica. Present. Okay, so happy face on Friday, Verónica. Eh, Barbara, Barbara, where are you, Barbara? Barbara is not connected yet. Okay. Okay, Barbara is not connected. Carlos Miguel. Here I am. Okay, great, excellent. Clelia. Present. Clelia. Daniel Alberto, Dani. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Francisco Enrique. Saldaña. Francisco Enrique Saldaña, not here yet. Guillermo Antonio. Guille. Present teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Ivania Elizabeth. Here I am. Great. 
Jonathan. Hello, Hello. Jonathan. Where are you here? Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Great, thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Karina Vanessa. Karina Present. Vanessa, thank you. Mabelin says she's going to be absent. Noé. Uh, he's not connected yet. Serafin. Here I am, teacher. William. 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 Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, class. And now look at this. Here we go. Um, I'm going to share with you this. And as I promised yesterday, we're going to go deeper into this. And I'm going to be asking you some questions. For example, if I say, Jonathan, okay, I write here, okay, here, Jonathan, because I'm going to ask uh, the question to him and I'm going to write his answer, okay? So, Jonathan. Is it like this, Jonathan? Okay, Jonathan, hello. Hello. Jonathan, what does a software, software engineer do? What does, this is the question, what does a soft, software, yeah, software engineer do? ¿Qué es lo que hace un ingeniero en sistemas? Mm -hmm. The answer is okay. Is design and develop develop different software. Okay, he designs and develops develop. develops what different different yes. software just softwares softwares right. Okay. If you notice here, I added S and S. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona, de un software engineer, okay? He designs and develops different softwares. Esa tiene que ser la respuesta, no solamente la actividad, como aparece en la página 19, me parece, ¿sí? Okay. okay. And now, by now, I think that all of you have these answers, yes or no? Hello, class. Yes or no? Sí, a todos y todas tienen la respuesta, ¿verdad? Yes. The human resource. Okay. So I'm yes. going to feel free to ask you. Okay. Uh, Luz. Filomena, Luz. Yes. What, what yes. does, this is the question, okay? What does a human resource specialist do? He, he, he is no uh -huh. policies. He knows the, the policies, policies uh -huh. and regulation and regulations regulation involved 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 in the manner manager in, in the management in the management of employees of, of employees of employees of employees very well excellent is that okay sí, pero... you check out if, if i miss spell something si escribí mal algo yes miss yes she she yes look ah, okay it can no pero es que a Luz le estoy haciendo la pregunta. Escribo ah, okay. el nombre de Luz. Ella no es a Human Resource Specialist. Yo le pregunto, what does a Human Resource, hey Luz, what does a Human Resource Specialist do? Yo le pregunto, Luz, ¿qué es lo que hace un especialista en recursos humanos? Y ella me contesta, he knows the policies, bla, bla, bla. Él conoce las políticas y reglamentos envueltos okay. en el, ok, ajá, está 
hablándome de la rutina o actividades de alguien más, no de ella, ¿sí? Ok, very well. And now, financial analyst. Let's see. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask this question too, but let me check over here. My finger is going to tell me. Uh -huh. Ivania Elizabeth. Okay. Ivania? Yes. Okay. Ivania, what does a financial analyst do? Um, he helps people. He, um, uh -huh, he helps people. And business manage their finances. And business manage and business manage manage their finances 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 okay okay class if you have a different answer you can okay discuss and then we're going to clarify he helps listen here i am writing he but it can be she because in this position can be a lady or a gentleman, correct? Acabo yes. de eh, ser en, estar en este puesto un elo o una ella, no necesariamente un caballero, ¿sí? He helps people and business manage their finances. Okay, so here the next question goes to Jose Manuel Mejía. Jose Manuel. Yes. Okay, Jose Manuel, this is a question for you, Jose Manuel. Okay. Okay, tell me, Jose Manuel, and tell to the class, actually, okay? What does an insurance agent do? What does an insurance agent do? Okay, he helps people. He helps people. And companies. And companies, and companies against finance. Against? Against? Financial. Yeah, but there is one word that I didn't listen. Okay, say that again, please. Repítalo, por favor. Uh, uh, he helped people in, in company against finance. Finance. Against finance. Finance. Loss and manager. Lost and. And manage. And manage. And manages. Risks. And manages risks. Okay. And manages risks. Is that okay? Is that okay, class? Yes. Finance loss and manage yes, okay. risk. Okay. Now yes. the next question goes to, let me see. Marlene. Hello, Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene, are you here? Marlene. Ana Marlene is not available. Okay, probably she's driving. I'm going to ask to somebody else. Mm -hmm. The question goes to... Francisco, Francisco Enrique Saldaña. Let me see if he's here. Yeah. No, he's not. So the question goes then to David Emanuel. David. Hello, David. What does a bookkeeper do? He keeps. Okay, so uh, David. He keeps. He keeps track of he accountants keeps or companies. Track. Financial. Excuse me? Sorry? Financial. He keeps track on of the financial account of okay. company. 
accounts of the company. Is that okay? He keeps track of the financial accounts of the company. Yes. Now, digital marketing manager. This question goes to, let me see here. Ana Veronica. Hello, Ana Veronica. Ah, Marlene, you are here. Yes, okay. I was watching. <laughs> okay, Sorry. here, Marlene. Uh, okay. The question for the class, what does a digital marketing manager do? What does a digital marketing manager do? Okay. He, he designed a marketing project. Okay, here we say he designs a marketing project. Marketing project. Okay. He designs a marketing project. Here you are describing the activities that these people do. Okay. A software engineer, human resources specialist, financial analyst, insurance agent, bookkeeper, digital marketing manager, right? And my question is class, write the days of the week in order, okay? But you are going to spell the days of the week, okay? I'm going to say your name and you spell the days of the week for the teacher. I'm going to type it, okay? Here we go. Let's see. Mm, Clelia, what is the first day of the week, Clelia? Hello, Clelia. Clelia, are you here? Okay, the question goes to Serafin then. Serafin, what is the first day of the week? Name the first day of the week. Hello. Hello, Serafin. Tell to the class the, the first day of the week. Is it Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday? The first day of the week is? It's Monday. Sunday. Okay, let's imagine that it is Monday for the work day, the, the work week, okay? So, Serafin, how do you spell Monday in English? Monday M. in English. Okay, M. M O O Okay M O N N D Okay A J J, okay, like this, because you told me J. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, so, uh-huh, which one? Why, uh -huh. why? Why, very why? well. Yes. Okay, great, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, yes, Marlene? Okay, Marlene, do you want to, do you want to spell the second day yeah. of the week? Okay, tell yes. me. Thursday. Okay, spell it for the class, please. T. T. H. The second day of the week. El segundo día de la semana. Tuesday. That's okay. correct. Tuesday. Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. Monday. Okay, you said T. Continue. U. Okay. Uh, I say H there. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you. I'm worried. D. Okay, T, U. S. Okay, you told me, Luz. Hey, I'm sorry, Ana Marlene. T, U. After U, después S. de la U. S. Mm -hmm. D. D. A, Y. Okay, like this. Is that okay, class? No, A, después de la de A, Y. 
Okay. Is that okay, class? No. Okay. La H. Where H? No. For the second day of the week. La R. The R R. D R. Where R? R. D U E. Permítame, vamos. A... Ella dice que hay que decirle una. ¿Dónde va la R? Ajá. Pero estamos a... Ok, T, U. E, as in elephant. Yes, T, U, E. T, U, E, S, D, A, Y. Don't confuse it with Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesday. I'm confused. Ok, Tuesday. Now... Okay, class, here for the third day of the week. Carlos Miguel, the third Hello. day of the week. Spell Wednesday. the third day. Okay, how do you spell it in English? Uh, w E D M E S D A Y. Why? Wednesday. Wednesday. Now, the fourth day of the week. This goes to um, Danny, Daniel. Hello, Daniel, are you here? The fourth day of the week. Hello, teacher. Okay, Danny, spell for the class the fourth day of the week. Uh, T. Okay, T. H. U. R. S. E A Why? Why? Very well. Thank you. Now, um, Clelia, are you here? Clelia, are you available? Hello. Hello. Okay, Clelia. What is the first, the fifth day of the week? The fifth day of the week. A fifth. Okay, spell it for the class, please. F R F R R I I U D A Y Y. Excellent. Very well. And now here, let me see. David Emanuel. The sixth day of the week. Yes. Yes, David. David Emanuel. The sixth day of the week. Okay. Tenía el micrófono apagado. Uh, okay. <laughs> eh, Saturday. Okay, Saturday. Yes. How do you spell a it in English? S A S A. S A Hello David, are you here? Okay, class, who wants to continue helping David because his image is frozen? S A I'm going to ask to continue with this to um, William, William Francisco, S A. Sí. How do you spell uh, Saturday in English? S A. Saturday. Yes. S A. T U. T U. R D A. R D A. Y. Why? Excellent. Very well. Saturday. And what about the last day of the week? The last Teacher. day. Yes. Ay, ay. Eh, se me cortó la conexión, pero puedo decir lo siguiente. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Sunday. Okay. Spell it. S. S. U. U. N. D. D. A. Y. Excellent, very well. So we have here the five days of the week, Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, okay? And now you are going to continue with this activity, okay? But before we go over, I need you to pay close attention to this question, okay? These two questions, okay? Uh, what, what do you do? Do you do? What do you do? Okay. And then you may answer, I am a salesperson, for example. Yes, I am a salesperson. And then the next question is, what does a salesperson do? What does a salesperson do? Okay, here we have two questions and two potential answers. And if I ask you class, what does a salesperson do? You answer he, ¿qué es lo que hace un vendedor? Hello, somebody here? Sales, vendedor. He sells products. Sales. He products. sells products. And what else? He sells Make products. Makes um, invent, inventories. Yeah, inventories. Another one. Talks to customers or clients. Yes, and then you continue, right? Y continúa. Estas dos preguntas son las que se van a hacer en este momento en los breakout rooms. What do you do? I am a or an. What does y le preguntan sobre esa profesión u ocupación. What does, for example, um, an accountant do? What does a, a telephone agent do? Sí, y ahí le preguntan, de acuerdo a lo que les conteste su compañero, ¿estamos claros? Y van a ir escribiendo ustedes las actividades. Acá, he sells products or she, bla, bla. Pero acá vamos a utilizar los verbos, miren, en tercera persona de singular, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Are we ready or do you have any question? Comprendimos las instrucciones. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. Yes. Shall we go to the to the to the breakout rooms? Yes. Sí. Nos vamos entonces a los breakout rooms. The two questions, okay? What do you do and what does a salesperson do? Okay? Esas son las dos preguntas. I'm going to stop sharing and here we go. Okay, here. Very well. Okay. Right now, I'm going to send you the invitation class. There you are. Ahí está. Okay. Please go to your groups and begin asking and answering the questions. Go to your groups. Okay. Jose Pacheco, I need you in group number two. William Francisco in group number two. Carlos Miguel Umaña in group number four. Jose Mejia in group number five. Please, Jose Mejia, thank you. Carlos Miguel, group number four. William Francisco, I need you to join group number two if you are so nice, please. Okay, bye, William. Okay, excellent. Okay. 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 Muy bien. How are you? 
how are you? I'm okay. I'm great. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So begin. Remember the two question. What do you do? And what yep. does ah? Uh, because for example, if I say, Clelia, what okay. do you do? I'm graphic designer. And, what, and then the next question, Clelia, what does a graphic designer do? What does a graphic designer do? And then you say, she, y ahí menciona las actividades, pero agregándoles la S o la S al verbo, ¿verdad? Y ahí lo anotan sus compañeros. Y luego Clelia eh, me va a preguntar a mí. Ah, no, Clelia le pregunta, digamos, a David. David le pregunta a Serafín y Serafín me preguntaría a mí, sí, para que todos vayan practicando las dos preguntas, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Ok, Bye. teacher. Bye. 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 Let's begin practicing. Bye. Yeah. Everything is clear, group? Todo está claro, equipo? Sí, ¿O tiene alguna duda? Ok, great. Sí, está claro. Ok. Ok, um, Jonathan. Uh, uh, what do you do? I am a analyst software. Uh, what does uh, analyst software um, do? Okay. What does the... analyst an analyst software? Finalmente logró ingresar Ana Marlene. ¿Cómo va conduciendo? Y sí, okay. se me apagó el teléfono y, y me costó volver a encenderlo. Sorry. Ah, okay, great, but you are here. Yeah. Okay, class, the instructions are clear. ¿Están claras las instrucciones? Yes? Sí. Yeah. Okay, very well. La segunda pregunta, José, sería what can... What, what does... What does... A manager marketing do? Our marketing manager, a marketing, a marketing manager, manager. manager yeah. to what does a marketing manager do? Okay. Bye. Vaya la respuesta, José. Okay. The, he uh, designs a uh, strategy. Um, uh, developing a product. He designs strategies. He, he designs strategy. Uh -huh. uh, he developing product. He, he develops. 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 Mm -hmm. Products. Products. Desarrolla productos. Mm -hmm. He develops products. He develops products. Develops products. General report. And generates and report. report. Generates report. Mm -hmm. Porque estamos hablando de tercera persona de singular en presente sí. Ya. Okay. Como rutinas, actividades a diario que hace el marketing manager. Ok, continue. And you may ask to Ana Marlene and you take notes. Ok about her information. Okay. Okay, who is asking? Who is going to ask Marlene? Jose Mejia. 
Okay. Uh, what do you do? B E. Okay. Uh -huh. Bye. Technical support. Okay. Uh -huh. pues yo le pregunto a Serafín. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Serafín, what do you do? Execute business. Con ejecutivo de ventas, algo así. Ah, no, ejecutivo de ventas o ejecutivo de negocios. Ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, teacher, ejecutivo de ventas executive. sería como sales. Sales Sell, executive. That's correct. Sales executive. Okay. Sales. sales. Sales executive. executive, yes. Executive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sales executive. Sales executive, okay. yeah. Second question, uh, what does a uh, uh, sales executive? Mm -hmm. Is, um, mm -hmm. I... <clears throat> I visit the customers. No, because you are asking about somebody else. He visits customers. He visits customers, okay? Because the question is not what... Uh, Who visits? Uh -huh. What does a uh, blah, blah do? So he, and then you use the verb in third person singular. Okay, another activity? Okay. He visits customers. He visits mm. customers. And what else? Yes. Visit. Uh-huh. That's okay. Visit. Visit customers okay. in general and another activity otra actividad the she write um a cast of institutions el manejar el vehículo institucional uh, oh, he drives the institutional Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Vehicle. Vehicle. Or, or, or drive the company right. vehicle. Uh -huh. Yes, it will be. Right. Uh -huh. Drive. Drives. 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 Como dijo ahí ese. He drives. drives. No, drives from driver. Drives. No, drives from driver. Like this. What? He drives. Yes. Uh -huh. The institutional. Uh, institutional. Yes, like this. Yeah. He drives the institutional vehicle. Drives because it is he. He drives. Yeah? Is that okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. He drives the institutional vehicle. Another activity? Vehicle, like como se... You have it here. Vehicle. What? Vehicle. No. Vehicle. 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 Okay. Another activity? Yeah. He? What is the money? He Collect, receives collect the manager. The manager. The the ma hey, the manager collects money. Collects. Uh, cobranza. He, cobranza. Collects, he collects money. From the customers. Yes. yes. From the customers. Like this. Collect. He collects money from he the collects. customers. He collects money from the customers. Yes. 
Yes. From. From. From the customers. Okay. Remember, I me, want it, you to think about. Okay, mm. the use of the verb in third person singular and the change drives collects. Okay, don't forget that. Okay. It calls money from, from, the, the, from the customers. From, from the falta la, la R, ah. ¿verdad? Oh. oh, yes. Ay. Okay. <laughs> no, right. But I'm going to write it here over again. He from, ¿verdad? From. collects money Olé. from. Money from. From, oh, he collects money from the customers. Customers. Customers, yes. He, he collects, collects money from the customer. Excellent, that's it. Okay, okay. 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 clearly. Okay, now you continue. Now you have a guide, okay? I'm going to help other partners. Voy a ayudarle a otros compañeros. Bye. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Ya, ya practicamos, teacher. Ok, me gustaría, me gustaría escuchar las, las, las preguntas y respuestas para okay. ver si usaron bien los, la tercera persona de singular y los verbos. Ok. What do you do, William? Uh, what do you do? Uh, executive say. Sell, I am a sales executive. Ajá, sales executive. Ajá. Ejecutivo de ventas. Yes, I am a sales executive. Uh -huh. Ok, Ana Verónica, ask the question, the second question. What does a executive? A sales executive do. Uh -huh. What does a executive do? Eh... Sell products. He sells products. He sells products. Make inventories. And. Talks to customers. Okay, talks to customers. That was the easiest one because I did it as an example. Okay, now William, you ask Jose. Uh, what do you do? Okay. I am uh, planner production. Okay. What does, what does a planner production do? Which production do? Uh, the planner production do uh, makes a reports. Makes reports. Reports. Eh, aunque sean varios reportes, tengo que decir solo reports. Report. Make, makes reports. Ahí a, reports es en, en general. El, 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 el S, general, la S, sí, de, de, de varios. Okay. That's okay, yes. He makes reports. En general, todo tipo puede ser ahí de, de reportes o muchos o more or less. Okay. Only that he makes reports. Nah, no, I also uh, I reviews. Uh, no, the... he. Recuerde que usted está hablando no de usted sino de lo que hace. Ah, Esa, okay. Este pues. He, he he does. No, he reviews. Uh, system information uh, between uh, real uh, uh, real production, real okay. production, real production. Very well. And now you, Jose, ask the questions to Veronica. Okay. Uh, Sería, permítanme, yo los tengo apuntados. What do you do? 
Uh, what do you do, uh, Veronica? I am an auditor. Okay. Does uh, she do? Uh, come on. Yes. What does an auditor? What does do? At an auditor mm -hmm. do? Do. Do. Okay. She analyzes my client's operation. She, she analyzes, analyzes. She analyzes my client's operation. She attends customer inquiries. And, and she makes process risk okay. and supervises. She supervises. supervises supervises activities the tax compliance supervise es que ya viene como la, la o sea sí está Ajá, como escribe, sí la correcto la pero acá la idea es que lo pronuncien verdad para que no no para que establezcamos la diferencia porque si fuera un examen oral verdad entonces uh -huh. that is the purpose okay but very well excellent so I think that we are going to move to the breakout rooms I mean to the main session room because we are in the breakout rooms. Okay. You had enough time, all the groups had enough time in order to write their activities okay. and to practice saying their activities. So here we go. Now let's get back. Well, well, well. Let's wait for the other partners so we can continue. One group is still working, but the platform is going to bring them back. And Vanessa. Okay, they are coming. Okay, class, congratulations on your performance in the previous activity. But remember that here, besides practicing, saying the activities that a person in your occupation does, it is also to practice and make an emphasis saying the activities using the verbs in third person singular, yes? So right now I'm going to ask Veronica, Miss Ana Veronica. Hi. Hi, Miss Ana Veronica. Ask the two questions to Jose Mejia, please. What do you do, Jose Mejia? Um, well, the main... Okay. Um, repeat. What do you do, Jose Mejia? Uh, I am a marketing manager. What, what does a marketing manager do? Um, he uh, design a strategy. He uh, generate report. Generates generates report. Generate report. Report. Uh -huh. report. And check email. And checks email very well. Mm -hmm. Now you. Uh, Jose Mejia, ask the questions. Ask the questions to, let me see. Mm. To Miss Clelia. Okay. Uh, what do you do? I'm graphic designer. 
Uh, what does a graphic design do? Um, make logos, make numbers, make legends. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Now, Clelia, ask the questions to Carlos Miguel. Okay, what do you do? Hello, uh, I, am, uh, I am engineer computer system. What does a computer system do? Um, um he he do uh, he 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 do no perdón he configure uh, virtual servers um um and design software okay thank you now ask the question carlos miguel ask the questions to jonathan jonathan what do you do I am a system analyst. Uh, what do what does a system analyst analyst do? Do okay. He analyzes a document for a specification uh, of requirement, and um, he he makes. Uh, he makes call for 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 resolve problem. Mm. Yes, okay. okay. Thank you. Excellent. Now, Jonathan, ask the questions to Filomena Luz. Hi, Filomena. What do I, you do? I am manager. What What does a manager do? Uh, she inventories and orders and supervisor supervises supervises and check emails and checks okay, emails thanks. thank you okay yes. Filomena ask the question to Ivania Ivania what yes. do you do I am a logistic manager. What does a logistic manager mean? Logistic, logistic manager. manager. Logistic, log, logistic. 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 What does a logistic manager do? Logistic. Okay. Logistic. Listen. Filomena, logistic. Logistic. Excellent. Very well. A okay. manager do. Very well. Okay. And she said, uh, she check and answer emails. Okay. She call customer. She buy car parts. Okay. And she organizes organizes travel, organizes travel schedules. Excellent, very well. Hey, very nice your activities, Miss Ivania. Now, Ivania, please ask the questions to Guillermo Antonio. Okay, Guillermo, what do you do? Microphone. Guille, microphone. Excuse me. Okay. I, I am logistic bus. I am a logistic boss. Okay. Right. What does a logistic bus do? Uh, he check truck. He checks trucks. He general report. Generates reports. He, I, mm, he, gender inventory. Generates inventories. Finish. 
only that. Okay, now you, Guillermo, ask the questions to Danny. Okay, okay. Daniel, hello. What do you do? I operate production. What do, what do? No, what does, what does? What does, what does operation? Production operator do? What do. does the production operator do? Uh, he, he made inventory. Okay. He check email. He checks. He checks email. He operate for like. He he may he may requirements requirements he makes requirements okay requirements. now Danny you ask the questions to who is missing to Serafin ask the questions to Serafin uh, okay hello Serafin. Hello. Uh, what do you do? Executive. You are an executive? Sales executive. Sales executive. Sales executive. Eh, uh, no escucho porque está viendo es Perdón, Daniel. Excuse me. Okay, no escucho cuánta es, está viendo fuerte acá. Ah, okay. Sí what, does, what does a sales executive do? I... No, I no. He, porque le está preguntando qué es lo que hace un sales executive. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Excuse me. He okay. visits a customer. He visits customers. He visits customers. And... I, he call it, call it he collects customers. Collects. He collects money he from collects customers. Money, he from collects money, money customers. From, from customer. money customers. He collects money from customers. He call it, he collects money from money from customers. Okay, finally. Yes. He, um, he drive. He drives. He drives. He drives. Institu institutional vehicle. 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 Okay. Now you, Serafin, ask the question to Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. Hello. Hi. What did you do? I am just a telephone agent. Okay. What do, what do, excuse me, repeat the, the profession? Telephone agent. Okay. What does, what does, what does um, telephone agents do? Uh, she calls customers. Yes. She makes reports she checks inventories okay excellent very excellent. well so we are done everybody ask everybody todo mundo preguntó a todo verdad or is somebody missing no hace falta alguien no okay the listen teacher. <laughs> ah, I have told you from the beginning I prepare class. <laughs> ah, teacher prepares classes, prepares evaluations, okay. checks evaluations, teaches classes, talks to the students, okay, Turn on, turns on the computer, turns off the computer, activates the microphone, or if the camera turns off the camera, or turns on activities. the camera. <laughs> All the activities, okay, very well, listen. Yeah, many, okay. many activities. Now listen, 
those activities are going to be very important. Why? Because in the next activity, you are going to use them. And I'm going to share what you are going to do, okay? Pay close attention, please. At page 28, we have daily routine. You have to write six activities you do in the box, my daily routine, and six about a partner in my partner's daily routine. In this page, you have my daily routine box and my partner's daily routine. First of all, right now, you are going to write here, my daily routine. You are going to write here six activities that you do at work, okay? But meaningful activities, not uh, to drink coffee because, okay? Okay, so if, if uh, your boss asks you, what do you do in your time? at work or in the office, you're not going to say I drink coffee or I have breakfast. No. What do you say? Oh, I work very hard. I talk to customers. I, mm -hmm, I prepare the agenda. I prepare or organize meetings and whatever. Okay. So you are going to write here six, six activities that you do at work. That is the first part. Later, we're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms, and then you are going to interview a partner. Van a entrevistar a un compañero o compañera y le van a preguntar, what's your daily routine at work? Y esa persona le va a dictar las actividades que él o ella hace. Y luego esa persona les pregunta a ustedes y ustedes van a escribir en esta parte lo que su compañero les va a decir. Okay? So right now, I need you to write here six daily routines that you do at work in this part, okay, in this box. En este espacio donde dice my daily routine, no se metan a escribir acá, no, only in this one, in the first one, the one that is to your left hand side, en la que tienen a la izquierda, yeah? If you ask me, well, that was your question. Teacher, what do you do? Your, your, what is your daily routine? Okay, I, Prepare classes. This is my daily routine, yeah? And then I teach classes. I organize my students. I monitor students, okay? I transfer students to breakout rooms. I transfer students to the main session room, for example, okay? But now it is about you. Let's begin, and when you are ready, you let me know, okay? Let's do it, six, six activities that you do at work. Let's begin, please. As soon as you finish, you tell me, teacher, I'm done.
Hello. Hello, welcome back. Recuerden que cuando tengan problemas de conexión siempre son bienvenidos, ¿verdad? Tan pronto se restablezca, regresen, reingresen, cada segundo cuenta con la asistencia. Ok, when you finish, you tell me class. I, I finish. finish. Ok, great. We're going to give one more minute to the other partners and then I'm going to tell you how to work on the second part when you go to the breakout rooms. Ok, one more minute class. Only six activities, okay? My daily routine. Now listen class. Mm, if I ask, for example, um, let's imagine here, David, David Emanuel, hello, are you here? David? Yes, I'm here. Okay, if I say hey, Emanuel or David Emanuel, uh, what's your daily routine? And then uh, you tell me one activity, okay? Yes. Uh, I I train staff. Okay, David trains the staff. Yeah, trains the staff. Notice what I did. He said, I train the staff. Pero yo no escribí, I train the staff. Yo escribí, David trains the staff. Porque es lo que él hace, es su rutina. Porque si yo le pregunto a Jonathan, imaginémonos que Jonathan le preguntó a David. And then I say, eh, Jonathan, what is David Emanuel's daily routine? Entonces él me contestará, David trains the staff. He, bla, bla. Entonces el verbo acá lo vamos a escribir en tercera persona de singular, sí para que podamos describir la rutina de alguien más, ¿de acuerdo? Cuando trabajen en los equipos, ¿sí? Comprendimos. Ok, ¿Sí? teacher. Ok, yes. pero van a tener la rutina solo okay. de un compañero, no de dos compañeros, como hicieron ayer en el párrafo, ¿verdad? Porque son las seis actividades. Ay, esa sonrisa me dice mucho, ¿verdad? Que hay. Entonces, a mi manera, my way. I did it my way, lo hicimos a mi manera. Entonces, recuerden, si en el equipo hay tres participantes, imaginémonos Ivania, Dani, and William in the same group. William asked to Dani, Dani asked to Ivania, Ivania asked to William. Sí, para que cada quien tenga actividades que realiza eh, un compañero diferente, no todos van a tener las mismas, ¿de acuerdo? Yes. Are we clear? 
Yes. yes. Porque ahí yes. cuando hago monitoreo, yes. why do you do this to me? Porque me hacen esto, les digo, ¿verdad? Ok, here we go. Recuerden, si tienen fallas con el internet, regresen tan pronto como, ¿verdad? Gracias a Dios, no muchos han tenido fallas. Here we go. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Ok. Uh, voy a asignar a algunos de ustedes acá porque me parece que los tengo que reasignar. Jose Pacheco, group number three. Jose Pacheco al equipo tres. Guillermo, group number five. Ok. Guillermo al equipo cinco. Right now. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, ok, great. With Ana Marlene y José Mejía. Producen, ah, ok, great. Ok, ¿cómo empezamos? ¿Quién con quién? Yo tuve problemas, casi no le, no le copié a la teacher. Si gustan, okay. empiezan a ver ahí. Ok, ustedes dos, aquí, maybe. Ana Marlene asks the question to José Mejía, and he reads his activities, ok. En a, en a and I'm right. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. And then Jose asks the questions to Guillermo, and then he answers, and Guillermo asks the question to Ana Marlene, ¿ok? Ok. Let's begin. Manuel, Bye. what's your daily routine? Uh, re, re, reports. Uh -huh. Reports. No, de leer, es read. Ah, uh, read. 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 Read the order. Orders, oh, okay, orders, okay. orders, orders. I read, orders. I would say, Clelia reads the orders. Clelia mm. reads the orders. Okay. Uh, review the order. She review. reviews, reviews mm. the orders. Orders. Let me... Vanessa, I make a uh -huh. I make a request. Mm, request. Okay. Vanessa Next. makes requests. Lo que pasa es que primero ella la está diciendo, luego nosotros tenemos que hablarla ya en tercera persona. Ah, primero perfecto. Excellent. Very well. Primero para escribirla. Okay. Next. No, perdón. I base the dog. <laughs> Yo. Yo baño al perro. Yo baño al perro, pero eso lo hace en el trabajo. Porque la rutina en el trabajo. Ay. Sí. Ah, pues sí le entendí mal. Ah, del ay, trabajo. Ay, sí, del trabajo. Vaya, mientras usted eh, estructura de nuevo sus actividades, maybe Daniel con José. Yes. Ok. okay. Para avanzar. Ok. Ok. Ok, ok. Hello, José. José Pacheco. Hello, José Pacheco. Jose Pacheco, ok. Now Dani, ask the question to him. Ok. Number five. I call customer. Ibanias, Ibania. Calls. Calls customer. Customers. Y ahí okay. esa palabra que no está. Uh -huh. Acá las letras están invertidas. Customers. Customers. Uh -huh. 
Uh, uh, customers. Uh -huh. Ajá. Customers. Ah, así como me dicen, ¿quién tiene la bula? La no sé qué. Ah. No, yo no dije nada. No, it's a joke. Customers. Ivania calls customers. Uh, and, uh -huh. Ivania. And acá miren, Ivania, no, Ivania writes. Ah, sí, okay. es error de dedo ahí nada más. Sí, así no suele pasar. Eh, sí. Ivania checks GPS, Ivania organizes. Con Z acá, organizes. Aquí. Travel, ajá. No, la, en lugar de la C es, uh -huh. ajá, organizes, yes. Okay. Travel schedules, very well, congratulations. Uh, ok, number six. Buy car parts. Uh, repeat, please. Buy car parts. Repuestos. Uh, bike. Buy, buy, de comprar. Ah, by the by, no, by the by, no, by the comprar. Ajá, Ivania. Ay, true. This part. Okay. Eh, closet, eh, almacén. Close the store. Store, close the uh -huh. store. Sería esa mi respuesta. So, I say Guillermo closes the store. Closes the store. Ok. Hoy sería Ana Marlene. Bueno, sí. preguntaría a Guillermo o Ana Marlene. Yes. What you, what you daily routine? Ok. I'm turned on the computer and take and ¿Cómo es tablet en inglés? Hey. Tablet, creo que es lo mismo. And cell phones. Uh -huh. I, turn on, I turn on the computer, the tablet, and the tablet cell phone. And the cell phones. I can put a tablet, the cell phone. The second, I check the inventory at the white board. Check inventory at the whiteboard. At the at the whiteboard. Whiteboard. Board, Board como White. pizarrón. Whiteboard. Yeah. yeah? White. Whiteboard. Yeah. La palabra es unida, teacher. Yes. When I write. Okay. Okay, here. Whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the three, I call customers. Repeat. I call customers. For. Okay, I sell products. Product. Okay. She sells products. Así lo tienen que escribir. She sells products. I write email. That's correct, teacher? Yes, that's correct. And I would say she writes, writes, a okay, writes, escribir. She writes reports. And the last one, I turn off the computer. Okay. We'll teacher, see. I have a question for you, teacher. She, yes, she write with, she write with, she <laughs> writes reports. Okay. And she uh, turns off, turns off the computer. Yes. Computer. Ok, tell me, Miss. Uh, José Manuel, tell me que él um, hace las planillas. Ajá, uh -huh. she makes the payroll. Right, payroll. I don't know what. Nunca había escuchado esa palabra. He Se makes the payroll. Okay. Oh, payroll. Payroll. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. payroll. 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 Oh, okay. 
We finished, teacher. Okay, great. It's time to get back to the main session room. Okay. Okay, thank you. Very well done. I'm going to say your name in order to uh, take the attendance the second time, okay? So get ready and don't forget to activate your camera because that is the agreement. Ese es el acuerdo de activar las cámaras con la asistencia. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Present. Thank you, Miss. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you, Miss Vero. Barbara, she was absent today. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you. Clelia. Present. Thank you, Miss. And then Danny. Present teacher. Thank you. David. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Enrique Saldaña. Francisco absent. Filomena Luz. Present teacher. Thank you, Guillermo Antonio. Yes. Okay, you're here. Very well. Now your connectivity is better. Ivania Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Ivania. Jonathan Alexander. Hello, Jonathan. Present. Thank you. Jose Armando Pacheco. Jose. I'm here. Jose Armando is here. Jose Manuel Mejia. Jose Manuel. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Karina Vanessa. Present. Karina. Thank you, Miss. Milagro is absent. Noé is absent. Serafín. Here I am, Miss. Great. Now you have a good connectivity. William. Present. William. Thank Present. you, William Francisco. Excellent. Okay, class, listen. Uh, I need only two volunteers to describe your partner's daily routine at work. The volunteers are to read the activities that he or she performs at work. Two volunteers. It can be a boy and a girl or two boys or two girls. Don't be afraid they are your Me, partner. Peter. Okay, thank you, Ivania and Carlos. Ivania, you begin. And say okay. the name of the classmate, okay? Okay. Uh, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Jonathan analyzes new requir requirements. Requirements. Analyzes. Requirement. Remember, analyzes. Analyzes. Uh -huh. analyzes new requirements. Yes. Jonathan will web service. Okay. Jonathan write code. Jonathan participates meetings daily. Oh, every day. Jonathan prepares the environment. Prepares the environment very well. Jonathan 
publish web service. Jonathan publishes web service. Publishes yeah. web service. Excellent, very well. Now, Carlos. Um, uh, Ivania, Ivania <laughs> organizes travel <laughs> shadows. <laughs> travel schedules. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, she checks GPS. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh uh, Ivania, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ivania uh, does travel budgets. Uh, okay. She writes uh, the maintenance of the buses. She writes the maintenance of the buses. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Ivania calls customers. Very um, well. And she buys parts for cars. She buys car parts car parts. Okay, very well. Congratulations, class. Now you are able to describe another partner's daily routine and you describe your own routine. Yes? Remember when you describe someone else's routine or you describe someone else's actions, you use the third person singular in present tense. For example, if I say Clelia checks her social networks, yeah, Clelia text messages to the customers, yes? If I say Clelia answers the phone, Clelia creates logos, yeah? Clelia designs banners. Yes, Clelia, you design banners, yes. Uh, no. No, banners, no. 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 Only logos. Only logos, numbers, legends, legends. Legends, okay, great, excellent. So you see, now she's telling me I blah, blah, and then I say she designs, because she tells me, she says, I design. When I report, cuando yo lo reporto, yo digo, she designs, porque hablo de lo que ella hace, tercera persona de singular. Okay, that was the practice. And here we go, let's continue then. Okay, the second part, simple present, yes, no questions. Now here you are going to write four questions and you are going to write the answers. For example, in the group, let's imagine that um, I am working with Clelia's group. Let's imagine that Ivania and Clelia are the other partners in my group. And then I say, Ivania does, for example, does Clelia, does Clelia create logos? What is your answer, Ivania? Yes, she does. That is the answer very well. Yes, comma, she does. Yes, she does. Sí, entonces, Uno le hace preguntas al otro compañero sobre el otro miembro del equipo. Y acá do es directa. Do you, bla, bla, yes, I do or no, I don't. To with does, asking about someone else, and do two times. Okay? Dos preguntas usando das y dos preguntas usando do, que estas con do son directas hacia ti. Okay? If I sí, say sí. yes. Digamos, eh, por ejemplo, en mi grupo, uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. yo estoy con Jonathan eh, y con Carlos. Yes. Los dos, los dos son eh, ah. de lo mismo, de computador. Ah, they, they are colleagues. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Ah, for example, like, you may say, does, uh, does Jonathan work with software? And then the other partner is going to tell you, yes, he does. Or you may say, does the name of your other partner, el nombre del otro compañero? Carlos. Does Carlos, uh, for example, oh, um, checks, checks uh, cars? Mm -hmm. y la respuesta sería, no, he doesn't. Yes? Mm -hmm. Allí usted pueden ser afirmativas o negativas. Sí. Okay. Ya, dado, dado, que, dado que son... Eh, colegas pues trabajan tienen la misma ocupación ok y si les pregunto a los a los dos eh, como do you eh, do you work eh, or do you do you install antivirus 
Ajá. Eh, 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 la de la, va a ser la misma afirmativa. Entonces, por eso hay que variar la pregunta. ¿Sí? Ajá. Pero como esto va a ser en equipo, entonces, acá puede ser que ellos le hagan una pregunta a, a por ejemplo, Carlos le pregunta a, a Jonathan. Das no, por eso, pero es que no me he entendido. Es como, como el ejemplo que nos estaba dando de, de que no sea el do en primera persona, sino en ter, el, el do you en tercera para responder con we. Ah, en esta, do you. Ajá. Ok, ahí sí, es válido. Yes, we, ajá, porque le estaría usando el plural. Sí, yes, okay. very good. Ah, easy. Making your life easier. Come on, shame on you. Ok, but that's a good idea. You can try. Ok, okay. now let's move to the breakout rooms. Did you get the idea, class? Sí. ¿Captamos yes. la idea? Yes, teacher. Ok, here we go. Let's do it. The invitation has been sent. Ay, Noé. Welcome, no. Noé. Ya había pasado lista, Noé. Lo vamos a poner acá. Ok, Noé. Noé lo voy a asignar a un equipo. Noé me escucha. Hola, Noé. A Noé lo vamos a enviar al equipo. Okay. Noé me escucha. Hola, Noé. Noé, quédese aquí conmigo. Ya lo envió un equipo, pero quiero ver aquí cuál equipo. Ok. Ok, Noé, join team number two. Según el equipo número dos, Noé, por favor. Noé, go to group number two. Noé, ¿me escucha? Hola, Noé. Noé, go to group number two. Noé, ¿me está escuchando? Oli, Noé. Ok, tal vez ya ingresó. Let's verify. Ajá. Do you... ¿Cómo es? Do you say, say executive? Dígame una um, daily routine que hace este. Do you sell es? products? Do you sell products? Collect money de. Ajá. Do, uh -huh. do you collect money? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I visit the customers. Mm -hmm. I. ¿Cómo se diría revisar reportes diarios? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se diría revisar reporte diario de venta? I check the, the sales daily report. I check, I check the, the, the sales daily, daily report. report. Mm -hmm. I check the, the sales daily report. Yes, that's it. Ahora van a diga. Mm, eh, no entendimos bien. Eh, como que están eh, un poquito. Compañero de trabajo. Ah, ah no. Eh, Compañero de clase. Repeat, please. Ah, como que las palabritas están un poquito enredaditas en la pregunta. Dos. Dos. Hacía la pregunta, ¿verdad? Dos. Ajá. Ajá. Das y David y partners, ¿sí, ¿verdad? Para decir compañero. No, pero es que no, Francia. no, no, es sobre la rutina en el trabajo. Así como la pregunta que, ahí que tendría, yo. Ahí, ah, tendría, okay. ahí tendría que ser, ahí, si usted está preguntando que si David es compañero, no tiene que usar das, sino que tiene que usar el verbo to be. Is David your partner? Is David. Is David teacher, your partner? Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, la pregunta anterior la formulé así. Este, okay. Does Clelia make, make mm -hmm. eh, logos? 
Yes, correct. that's correct. That's correct. Ah, that's clear. Okay. Make. Uh -huh. y, y, y ese. Y esa pregunta sí. se la hice a, a Serafín referente a Clelia. Correcto, así tenía que ser. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, Porque okay. si fuera directa a ella sería, do you make logos? Ok, okay. thank you, teacher. Ok. okay. Ah, pues, También estaba Clelia... correcta la pregunta que ah. yo le hice. Ok, ¿Sí? read, your, read your question, Miss. Clelia. Hola. Does the, the, does the David is a... I, the train staff? No. Does David train Does the David staff? Does David train staff? Does David train staff? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Clelia. Very well. Okay. Yes, he does. Okay. Okay. Clelia, pregúntame a mí algo de Serafín. Okay. Uh, does, does Serafín he visit, does Serafin visit customer? Yes, he does. Yes, okay. he does. Okay, hoy yes, Serafin, pregunta de Clelia, para, eh, pregunta referente a Clelia. Eh, does Clelia eh, say complete orders? Yes. Yes, yes. She? Yeah, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Well, yes, she does. Okay. Okay. Hoy tú pregúntale a Clelia algo de mí. Clelia. Does. Of the service. Uh, uh, ¿Cuál es el número? Number. Number six. That... Six. Ah. Repeat question, please. Does he verify the proper functioning of the service? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay, we finish. Finished. Finish. Yeah, teacher. Okay, very well. Excellent. Now we are going to get back to the main session room, okay? Okay. Thank you for the practice. Let's wait for your partners. David and Serafin are still in the group. And Dani Alberto too. Okay, they are coming back. Okay, here we go. I need two volunteers to read the questions and the answers that you built as a group. The first volunteer is un voluntario voluntaria. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Um, does Ivania buy car parts? Uh, yes, she does. She does. Uh, do you repair cars? Um, no, he does. Uh, no, do you no, he no? doesn't. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, do you check GPS? No, he doesn't. Uh, does Hibania design and de but, develop software? No, she doesn't. But when you say, do you do you repair cars? Yes, that was one question. Um, for uh, Jonathan, creo que okay, and then you. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál fue la respuesta de él? Uh, uh, I. 
No hay. No hay don't. No hay do. No en, hay don't. Ajá. Es, en ese caso, como era negativa, tenía que escribir no hay don't. ¿Por qué? Porque le piden que escriba la respuesta que su compañero o compañera le da. ¿Sí? Entonces ahí okay. sí es literal la respuesta corta. Por eso estamos con das y tú. ¿Ok? Das okay. es sobre una tercera persona y tú es una pregunta directa. ¿Ok? Eh, thank you. Another team. And ¿Otro equipo? ¿Otro equipo para que corrijamos, pues? La idea es hacerlo bien. La próxima. Hey. Bueno, aquí vamos a estar hasta las 12 de la noche. Hasta el midnight. No, yo ya participé, ya no. No, <laughs> Ok, listen, class. Um, eh, David, Emanuel, I'm going to ask you to stay with me 10 minutes, please, after the class. Ok. Le voy a okay. pedir que se quede conmigo 10 minutos. Hmm, ¿Viene una regañada? No, nah, no. It is for the reinforcement. <laughs> And for the rest of the class, remember, congratulations for the ones who have 100% in homework week number two and also in the midterm exam. Okay, ya estuve verificando hasta antes de la clase. Eh, tienen hasta midnight, hasta la medianoche para completar eso y el uh, midterm. Okay, recuerde la sección 2 y el midterm. Ok, have a good night. See you Monday. Uh, good night. Have a nice See you weekend. Monday. Yes. Bye. Yes. Good yes, good night, uh -huh. yes, Filomena. Sí, ya terminé mi actividad de las tareas de esta semana. ¿La semana 2? Sí. Mm, yo creo que sí. Déjeme ver. Let me verify. Okay, here, let me see. Mm, eh, Filomena. Okay, here. Mm, Filomena Homework. No, la semana 2 le hace falta. Por lo menos hasta las 7 de la noche le hace falta el homework. Las, el, lo que me ha terminado Filomena es el examen. Ese sí, el midterm. Pero los homeworks de la semana 2 le hace falta un poquito. Porque ahí me le aparecía el 4%. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo, Filomena? Entonces. El examen no es que ya me terminó. Pero eh, uh -huh. tiene que terminar las tareas. ¿De acuerdo? Bye. Ok. Have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Be careful with the rain. Tengan cuidado con la lluvia. ¿Ok? And with the landslide. Con los deslizamientos bye, de tierra. Care. Bye bye. Happy weekend. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. Blessings. Bye bye. I'm going to stay with David. Bye bye, Serafín. Bye, la, bye. En la plataforma, Serafín. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, Serafín. Okay. Vaya. Veamos, David. Okay, ah, ¿Cómo estamos con estas últimas actividades con tú y Das? Eh, fíjese que sinceramente donde me, me confundo, me trago, uh -huh. es cuando, Con esto. cuando, no, cuando usted eh, exponía o explicaba la tercera uh -huh. persona que si lleva el auxiliar das, ya uh -huh. no se le agrega la S al, al, al verbo por ser tercera persona. Ah, vaya, veamos ah. acá. Mire uh -huh. acá la pregunta. Does Clelia create logos? Yes, she does. Short answer, but full answer should be. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta completa? Yes. Yes, she does. Sí, no, porque como no, es respuesta no, no. completa, ah. ya no lleva das. Entonces, acá es donde el verbo va en tercera persona de singular y decimos, yes, she creates, creates, creates logos. Logos. Uh -huh. logos. ¿Ya? Ok. Es en y, tercera y... persona. Y acá veamos otra, das. Imaginémonos que das, das he, Install software, soft, software, softwares, no software, así. Ok. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta afirmativa? Eh, si fuera corta, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Very well. Yes, he does. Y si fuera full answer, yeah. yes. yes, he installs. Excellent. Software. Installs software. Así es. Entonces, cuando es respuesta larga afirmativa, 
ya no lleva uh -huh. el verbo das. Por lo tanto, el verbo es el que sufre el cambio y se le agrega uh -huh. la S. Ahora okay. veamos, I'm going to stop here. What if I ask you, ¿qué tal si yo le pregunto? Ok. Look at this. Does he go to the movies? Does he go to the movies? Respuesta corta. Eh, Afirmativa. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, full answer in affirmative. Yes. Eh, yes, he, he goes. He, we go, so sorry. He goes. Ah, yeah, here. Yes, he, he goes. Goes to the movie. Excellent, to the movies. Y acá, fíjese, ya no llevamos das. Porque uh -huh. eh, como es afirmativa completa, ¿verdad? Está dando la información completa. Sí. Al verbo go le agrega es porque termina en o, porque es tercera persona de singular, ¿sí? Now, okay. let's see. What if the eh, answer is negative, short negative? Eh, no. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. And the full negative? No. Eh, no. He, Ahí sí necesitamos doesn't, ¿verdad? Para correctísimo. No. Así es. No, he no, doesn't. No, he doesn't go to the movies. Excellent. Go to the movies. En este caso, como usted muy bien lo ha dicho, David Emanuel, uh, el verbo go va en su forma base, en su forma natural, porque ya llevamos el auxiliar doesn't. El que sufre el cambio es el verbo auxiliar. ¿Sí o no? Sí, porque el verbo sí, auxiliar es do. Pero cuando se usa para tercera persona, se convierte en das. ¿Sí? Ok. Y, teacher, y si no fuera una respuesta, sino que solamente una oración diciendo sin, ah, que, me pregunte, por example, sin que me pregunte. Uh -huh. Ok. I tell you. He goes to the movies uh, at night. Bye. Uh -huh. Y esta ¿Y si? oración en negativa. He uh -huh. doesn't. Mm, ah. Go okay. to the movies at night. At night. O sea Ajá, que, or he uh, doesn't uh, go to the movies. No, si no yo... importa si es pregunta o uh, respuesta a una pregunta o una oración simple, afirmativa o negativa. En presente simple se mantiene la estructura. Ah, ¿De acuerdo? Uh -huh. okay. Sí, porque si no me explica esto, yo solamente digo he not. No, Ajá, tiene que no ser es. así. Ajá, he el doesn't. verbo. He doesn't okay. y el verbo, he doesn't go. Okay. ¿Qué tal si yo le digo, does she cry for the milk? Uh -huh. Does she cry for the milk? O, o la niña, ¿verdad? Does she cry uh -huh. for the milk? Entonces sería yes. Yes, she does. Ok, yes, she does. Full. Yes, yes, she, she cries. cries. Excellent. For the for, milk. Excellent. Very well. For the milk. What about negative short answer? No. No, she doesn't. Excellent. The full negative? No, she doesn't cry for the milk. No, she doesn't cry for the milk. Milk. Mm -hmm. okay. Y si fuera una oración simple. Veamos oraciones simples. She carries uh, the bag with tomatoes. ¿Ok? Oración simple. Uh -huh. Ella lleva o ella carga la bolsa con tomates. If we okay. say, he doesn't. She. No, esta es otra oración. She ah, does, ah, perdón. He doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't cry. Uh, he doesn't cry for his mom. Okay. Él no llora por su mamá. He doesn't cry for his mom. Fíjese, acá negativa, oración simple, ¿verdad? Doesn't. Uh -huh. Y el verbo cry se mantiene. Ya no lleva el cambio como en carry, porque termina en Y, se uh -huh. mantiene en su base. ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Estamos claros yes, ahí? Yes, Entonces, yes, eh, veamos otro ejemplo. Um, if we say um, Rose um, uh, 
cooks for her husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In negative, Rose. Rose doesn't. Doesn't. Cook. Cook very well for. For the for her husband. <laughs> for her husband. Mm -hmm. Husband, well. husband. For her husband. Entonces la estructura se mantiene, ¿sí? Pero como solo mm -hmm. hemos estado trabajando con las short answers, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes, yes. Pero también para oraciones simples se mantiene. ¿sí? Nosotros decimos, doctor, doctor prescribes medicine. Medicine. Esta es una general truth. Es una verdad innegable que los médicos prescriben medicina, ¿sí? Yes. Entonces, recuerde los usos del presente simple. To describe eh, routines, to mm. describe habits, uh, and general truths, y verdades o hechos reales, innegables, ¿verdad? Ok. Y we Dice say, una, uh -huh, yes, uh, uh, una, una pregunta. Por ejemplo, en una práctica, hablando de, de aparecer esta oración del doctor, uh -huh. este, estábamos hablando de, de un compañero de Noé, por ejemplo, Uh -huh. Yo escribí la oración, no es supervises, yes. mechanic. Eh, yo, mechanics. Y yo uh -huh. a mechanics le agregué la S también, porque eh, me te refiero a que es supervisa. Es en general a los mecánicos. Ah, bebé. Ajá. Yes. Ah, entonces, entonces le agregué S a supervises y a me mechanics. Supervises, mechanics. Mechanics. Uy. Mechanics, like this. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, no es mechanics, ¿ya? En mechanics, plural. Eh, Acá, es correcto, entonces. Esta, esta S se refiere al verbo de la tercera persona de singular. Y en ¿Sí? este caso, la S es porque está pluralizando este nombre o sustantivo. Okay. Esta S no tiene nada que ver con el verbo ni con el sujeto. Ajá. Es diferente. Una es de, una es de tercera persona y la otra es de plural. Plural del nombre o sustantivo. Si decimos um, Jonathan um, checks computers. Jonathan revisa computadoras o las computadoras. Esta S de checks es del verbo que va relacionado al sujeto de la oración. Es la acción que Jonathan realiza. Y acá computers esta S es para pluralizar, porque no decimos Jonathan checks de computer, revisa la computadora sería, pero como acá estamos hablando en general, estamos pluralizando el nombre o sustantivo común, ¿verdad? Que es computers, ¿sí? Yes, teacher. Ok, computers, very well. Computers. Y sería la otra con O, mm, she, She does yoga. Yoga mm, in the morning. She does yoga in the morning. Ella hace yoga en la mañana. El verbo acá, does, no está como verbo auxiliar, sino que es el verbo principal. ¿Sí? Hacer. Ajá. Y en negativo, ¿cómo quedaría acá? Es practicar, mm. pero no, en inglés no decimos practice yoga, decimos do yoga. El negativo, mm. ¿cuál sería para esta oración? She doesn't. She doesn't qué? Yoga. No, she doesn't no. do, porque el verbo ah, do. de do. Sí. Ah. Ajá. Okay, sí, sí. Ah, she doesn't yeah. do yoga. Yoga in the morning. Okay, she doesn't do yoga in the morning. Entonces tiene que recordar que también tú no solamente es auxiliar, sino que es un verbo. En este caso está como verbo principal, pero lleva la ES porque termina en O y el sujeto es tercera persona de singular. She does yoga in the morning. Y el negativo, she doesn't. Este doesn't es el auxiliar. Y tú no es que... Pero ¿cómo llevamos los dos auxiliares, el afirmativo y el negativo? No, mm. en este caso es el verbo principal. She doesn't do yoga, to do yoga, es la frase verbal. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, de acuerdo, teacher. 
Ok. Creo que ya le aclaré un poquito más, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya me okay. amplió el, mis dudas. Gracias, Ok, excelente. Very well. Pero esto es a través de la práctica, ¿verdad? Practice, practice, and practice. But congratulations sí, sí, sí. because you are a very applied student. You are very responsible. Un estudiante muy responsable. Ok. <risa> <Muchas gracias. risa> y, y teacher, y teacher yes. puede verificarme si, si está completo mi trabajo mm, de la semana. Ok, let me see. Here. Eh, el homework me aparece 80%. Mm. Sí, me aparece el 80% del homework de la semana 2. Me le hace falta un poquitito. Y el midterm no me lo ha hecho nada, me ha trabajado del midterm. ¿Ok? Fíjese, fíjese Pero que aquí me, ajá. aquí me sale que sí. Y ah, me sale permítame. Un verde. Pero entonces quizás la voy a actualizar en este momento acá. Voy a refresh. Okay. Veamos, David de Manuel, tal vez ya me aparece. Sí, porque algunos vi que estaban quizás trabajando en eso, en lo que yo estaba en la clase. Dice que me aparece el 80% del Homework 2. Ya actualicé la página. Y sí. no me aparece el midterm todavía. Bueno, uh -huh. quiero, ver, quiero ver si puedo. No sé por qué me sale así. Bueno, le voy, quiero presentar mi pantalla tal vez. Porque, no sé por qué, quizás porque algunos compañeros están trabajándola, no me aparece Bien. el eh, actualizado, pero ya le di refresh a la, a la página. Mire, uh -huh. teacher, así me aparece ahorita. Permita, permítame, 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 David. David Emanuel Custodio Pérez, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, permítame un segundo, vamos a ver. Y ya le dio a enviar. A los dos. ¿Y dónde se le va a enviar? Porque. Sí, en, porque para que, para, que, para que le aparezca registrado. Muéstremelo. Uy, va, aquí está entrando en el mío. Uh -huh. Aquí. Envi ah, esto tengo que darle enviar. Ah, correcto, porque si no, no lo ay. registra la plataforma. Por va, más que actualice. Va. Le di enviar. ¿Eso fue el homework o, o el, el examen, el midterm? El, el examen. Vaya, permítame, voy a verificar en este momentito, ¿ok? No había, me creerá que no había visto ese botón. <risas> Dios mío, es que ya porque estamos cansados. <risas> Vaya, fíjese que eh, eso era el, el homework. Sí. Vaya, veamos. Permítame, lo vamos a actualizar en este momento. Le di refresh a la página. David Emanuel. Y el examen sí me lo debe, David. Solo son cuatro preguntitas. El examen, vamos a ver. Eh, fíjese, a David, que me aparece el 80. Permítame. Siempre me aparece el 80%. Hizo todas las preguntas. Hizo todos sí. los ejercicios. Sí, todos todo los ejercicios lo los hizo. Sí, mira, aquí estoy dando. Pero le voy a dar enviar a todo. Sí, a todo tiene que darle enviar. Porque hay uno, me aparece 80%. Hay uno al que no le ha dado enviar. Ah, y por eso. Solo me aparece ajá. submit, mire. Este Vaya, dele submit, submit. Ajá. Ya le di. Ahí está. Bien. Vamos a ver el próximo. Este submit también. Ajá. Sí. Y creo que ya le aparecería el siguiente. Voy, ya le dio el uh, submit a todos los homeworks. Sí, sí. ahorita ya le di y ya me pasó a la 11, que sería la otra semana. No, no le hace falta el midterm, el examen de esta semana. Ese es el que me le hace falta. De... Este, sería este, este mid. Permítame un segundo. Mm, fíjese que no me aparece, me aparece el 80%. Quizás cuando, ok, más tarde lo voy a verificar, ¿verdad? Vaya, teacher, eh, okay. por cualquier cosa, este, ahí, me ahí le aviso, ahí le aviso yo con gusto, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Muchas gracias, teacher. Sí, porque puede ser que sea inestabilidad del internet o que esté lento el, el sistema, porque como mucha gente está en este momento trabajándolo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, por cualquier cosa yo le aviso en la mañana y bueno, va a poder hacerlo. Ok, have a good gracias, night. Teacher. Thank have you. Night, bye, bye. Happy weekend. Bye.
See you Monday. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye. Bye.